The next stretch is the seiza. From the squat, if you can, you can just come up on the toes, dip your knees forward, take the feet back and sit down. And of course, if you're not ready, then use your hands, whatever you have to, to get into this position. Here is our normal, regular position right here. We have the knees through the tops of the feet, fat, flat on the ground, uh, legs spread apart comfortably with an upright and straight back position. So regressions, here some props can be useful. A yoga block or towels come into play. Uh, if you need additional padding on the knees, once again, you can certainly do that. However, the, the big part that is gonna help is most people, this being a quadricep stretch, so a lot of stretch here, but also the top of the feet, the ankles, are, is getting stretched at the same time. Placing some sort of pad, whether this is a yoga block, between the feet and the hips. Most people will not be able to get into that position without training this. So here we are training that flexibility, but in an easier manner. And of course, just using less padding over time. Like this is not here, but if you have a big towel, you can double it up, all sorts of things in order to do that. So this is how to regress this movement using the pads in there. Now let's talk progression. A few different ways we can go with this. One of them is, as with a lot of our moves, bringing our hands, or in this case, legs closer together. So having a feet touching, knees touching position. This isn't too much harder, but uh, you can notice a little bit of a difference. So that is something we can work with. In order to amplify the stretch on the quadriceps, we can simply lean back. This will also start to work the hip flexors a little bit. It may work the top of the feet a little bit more. You'll notice when you start leaning back that the knees may come off the ground. See if you can keep them there and just hold that position. So now I'm feeling quite a stretch in my quadriceps. A different variation of this, which makes it a bit more of a strength move, is to start in this top position and we're doing a kneeling back bend. Know for this, the wider your legs, the easier it is going to be. And once again, you may notice those knees coming up off the ground, but here there is quite a stretch on the quadriceps. And if you need to, you can roll out of that position. It can be tough to control it, but you also may be able to build up to coming back up, but we'll cover more of that in the dynamics section. So here, chief among this quadriceps and the top of the feet, and depending on the angle we use of where our hips are, and then how far back we are going, uh, is going to stretch those more so.